Hey everyone, in this episode of Hub Fuel, we're gonna be talking more around how to set up users and teams in HubSpot, more specifically how to add users to your HubSpot and also how to put these into teams as well, making sure that people have the right access and your org chart is reflected effectively in HubSpot. So without further ado, let's get into it. When you're in HubSpot, what you wanna do is head over to the settings icon in the top right, which will take you into the backend settings. From here, you want to scroll down the left-hand sidebar to where you have your account set up, i.e. your universal settings, and then into users and teams. From here, you will see what you're probably already familiar with in terms of essentially you have all the different users in your accounts. But what you will also see is you also have a tab for teams. And within this tab, but essentially what you can actually do is essentially set up teams within your space. So as you can see here, I have a team for demos, I have a team for marketing, I have a team for miscellaneous. Now, we may get to a point where maybe we want to onboard our sales team onto HubSpot uh, to use the CRM. So what we can actually do is press create team. We can call it the sales team. And if you are an enterprise, you actually do have the ability to create a hierarchical structure within the teams area. So basically you can have parent and child teams like so. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna leave parent team um, blank, and I'm gonna then select who sits in the sales team. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna just find a few um, people at random. So I can see here that Hugh Roberts, I'm gonna add him to my sales team. I can then add additional users who it may not be their primary team, but then can also contribute into it. If I then press save, you will see that sales and is now created as a team on the root of the team folder. What I can also do is create a team, for example, and I could call that new business, right? So I could say, this is a new business team that sits within the sales function. And the parent team for that is the sales team, right? So I want the new business to report into sales. And then I want Johnny Clark to essentially report into the new business team. If I then press save, as you can see, it's taken me into the sales team. I can just press all teams and you've now set up basically a team in HubSpot. So you can actually see here that when uh, we've got the basically the structure, you can ultimately now see how that org chart kind of looks all within HubSpot. More importantly, what we can also do is use this in reporting, right? So if you create any reports where you're looking at the deal owner, the contact owner, we can now look at the contact team or the deal team and it all works from the same area. So it's super important that you set up your, essentially your users and teams within HubSpot because it gives you more functionality when it comes to control, reporting, and pretty much sanity when using the CRM.